Hey man, how you doing? Hello and welcome to Relax Mail. Alright, so today we're going to talk about choices and whether or not you actually have them. Hey man, how you doing? Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Alright, so talking about choices. Um, you hear so many times people say, I didn't have a choice. I was my hands were tied. Were this, you know, there was so much wrong, you know. Uh, something happened and I didn't have a choice, or uh, you know, there's always these, you know, these excuses as I mentioned in the uh, in the in the video before. There are um, a lot of times people want to say that there are they they don't have a choice and they use that as an excuse when in all reality you do have a choice uh, in what happens and you actually are better and stronger if you actually take the time to actually accept the fact that you had a choice and that you made a choice choices were made in the hand in instances all the time uh, say for instance um, say uh, you smokers will understand understand this one um, you can either have a uh, have a pack of cigarettes or you can actually have enough money to buy enough gas to get you from place A to place B if you've ever been in that situation you know you have to make a choice you're either going to get a pack of cigarettes or you're going to be you know borrowing off of everybody and everybody's going to get mad at you or you're going to have to figure out how to walk to work all right you may end up having to leave three hours early so that you can walk to work. Um, these are instances like this where these are choices that a lot of people, especially when you're younger, uh, fresh out of, uh, out of high school, living on your own, you've got to make these choices. Am I going to have enough money to pay my rent or am I going to go party with, uh, with John tomorrow? These are your choices. Uh, and you make them and whatever that choice is you're going to have to have you have a ramification for that either you've got a place to live uh to, for next month or you had a really good time you got a story to tell uh tell your kids somewhere down the road choices are uh are always going to happen and the, one of the best things you can ever do is to accept the fact that you're actually going to have to make a choice uh, I often tell the kid, my kids, you've got to own your dirt. Uh, you've got a choice. You're either going to take responsibility for this, or you're going to take, or you're going to end up having me yell at you. There's that that choice, and I often refer to choices uh, as a type of responsibility. Responsibility is like a bull, man. You can either face the responsibility, tackle it, grab it by the horns, tackle it head on, right then and there, while while it's. Uh, while it's available or you can sit there and dodge make the choice to dodge now that choice is going to happen you're gonna make that choice you're gonna dodge you're not gonna take care of that uh, responsibility right now I'm not gonna take care of that responsibility right now not gonna take eventually though you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be dodging that responsibility and you're gonna end up getting hit by that bull that bulls finally gonna come up and he's going boom right up the butt you're either you, you, that happens that is your responsibility you need to take full credit for the fact that i didn't i didn't uh hold up to my side of the bargain i i didn't uh i didn't feed the dog as often as i should have and that's why i got sick i whatever the responsibility you were dodging happens you have to own that dirt the moment you own that dirt you become you realize how important responsibility is for you and how important responsibility is for men in general so if you can do this and you can actually uh, you start if you, acknowledging that you had a choice you made that choice and whether that choice was right or wrong if it ends up being the wrong choice you fess up to it it's like dude I could have sworn you were gonna go left and and uh, so I, 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 I didn't make it in time uh, you know, whatever that that in time means you know you made a choice it happened it didn't work uh, I, I thought that I, I thought we were going to end up getting a whole lot more uh, more work down the road and it so it didn't end up happening but and because of that we're out of business there are choices to be made 
um, if you can take those choices, you make the you make the choices, you own up to the choices, you own your dirt. People will start respecting you a lot more. When you have when you make the choices and you acknowledge that you made those choices, again, right or wrong, you've got people respecting you more because you have taken that time to to acknowledge the fact that hey, <laughs> I was hoping I was going to be able to make this work, and it didn't. But I learned X, Y, Z, and on top of A, B, and C from this. So I, you are now able to uh, go next time and it, try that. You can even try it again with and and take a different angle on it. And because you actually made made the choice, people are going to expect, hey, he's either going to make it or, hey, he may actually make it this time or, hey, he's not going to make it this time still because he's still, you know, because of X, Y, and Z, that added little learning effect that you had. So the moment you learn and the moment you take responsibility is the moment you accept all the lessons that that choice offered. And you learn from those choices, you made that choice, you made the, you got the, uh, the, the effort and you made the effort, you got and made your choice, and the lessons that were taught were bestowed upon you by the universe, so to say. So, really quick, just wanted to talk about how choices are important. While it's also really evident when if a person doesn't make, doesn't acknowledge the choice, they don't take, uh, they don't take the uh, the responsibility for their actions. They are the ones who often are citing, "It's not my fault." I, how could they have let the, this river flood? I was down here right beside the bank. I spent all my, the last 10 years building this house right on the bank of this river. Just as I moved in, a huge flood come along and washed it all away. It's not my fault. Well, you chose to build your house right there next to the river. And it should have been the indicator the first two times that it flooded that it probably wasn't a good idea to, part, to, grow, to, to build your house right there, right next to the river. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea, but in all reality, no, should have built it up on top of the hill over there. Those are choices. Acting like the victim, like, it's not my fault that the river flooded. Well, it is your fault that you built the house there. So there are responsibilities. There are uh, choices that you made and because you chose to not take responsibility, people are not going to feel sorry for you, man. They're not going. They're going to go. Well, you're the dumb bud who went off and built your house right beside the river. You've seen that. We told you twice that it floods every five years, and the first two times, or the, the first time that it flooded, you saw that it. You ran the risk, and you took the risk that it would never flood again. And guess what? You lost. Boom! Well, all your house is now floating somewhere down in Illinois you get the results that you wanted. You knew you, you wanted to not get up and go to work. So you wanted, the, you wanted to not have to, to, to set. So you get, because you chose to not do something or you chose to do something other than what's responsible, you actually chose the result that you got. Your house, you chose to have your house become a, to float upstream instead of being instead of staying where it was supposed to be you made the choice and you got the result and so those results are your are your choice are are your results that made no sense <laughs> so because you chose something other than uh because of the choices you made the results are actually yours so leaving that with you you have a choice. Take that choice and own the dirt, because you're going to you're going to have to face the piper, whether you made a good choice or a bad choice. You're always going to have to face uh, face the, the the proverbial music one way or the other. So go ahead and at least own up to it. It's my fault. I did it. I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, it flooded last time, but it wasn't that big of a flood. And I didn't think it was going to do it again. Everybody warned me, but I, I chose not to listen. You have a choice. Take the choice, learn from the choice, and get stronger is what I'm getting at. So anyhow, I'm Brian with Relaxed Mail. Thank you very much. If you like this video, click that likes button. If you like the this channel, 
click subscribe and hit the bell icon and I'll, be, I'll let you know every time we there's a, a new video I try to get one out every week and as you can see I'm try, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting things going again so uh, pretty soon we're gonna start getting the reviews out again once more um, and uh, I'm a bit, bit behind on those I, I would appreciate all the uh, subscribes that you can you can throw my way if you uh, uh, have a question uh, or uh, or a comment go over to relaxmail.com that's where I throw up all my blog posts um, I also have a couple of different services I have a coaching service and I also in, I also have a uh, mastermind group called the conclave of men uh, that would be perfect for you to be able to uh, to grow stronger to ex uh, find responsibility and uh, to find a way to be able to succeed so thank you again for watching we'll see you next week Bye.